Today we are demonstrating the Glenbrook Jewelbox 70T X-Ray system with the programmable positioner option. Uh, so the programmable positioner allows you to uh, make repeated measurements uh, on, on your device. In this case, uh, we're inspecting a PCB, an assembled PCB, um, and uh, you store uh, store locations of interest and then you can return to them uh, on the same device or uh, on another sample. Um, so the way the, uh, the interface is programmed, uh, we go to a location and click add present location and here we have the coordinates of this RS-232 chip which, um, which is reference designator U5 and we store the uh, coordinates um, in X, Y, and Z, as well as the tilt and rotation. I can take the joystick and reposition to the next IC. Here we have an H-bridge IC. Uh, this one is reference designator U10. I will add present location and change the name to U10. And now we can reposition uh, using the, uh, the software buttons. Reposition and inspect one of these capacitors. So we'll adjust. Capacitor is centered in the screen. Add present location. And this is C30. The next part I'd like to look at is this uh, microcontroller and it has some vias underneath uh, so we can tilt and rotate the part to get a better perspective on those vias. Readjust. And we can add present location and this one is designator U3. Um, now, I've adjusted the PCB with the tilt and rotation. If we want to return it to the, uh, the uh, flat level position, we have a tilt rotation level button. I'll click this and it repositions the PCB to zero out the tilt and rotation. Um, and now we can go back to the first location uh, by clicking U5 in the list and go to location, and we'll return to that RS-232 IC. Um, in the imaging options, we have um, the ability to uh, view the live image, uh, save an ind individu individual image to disk, uh, adjust the frame averages, adjust the brightness and contrast of the image, uh, sharpness enhancement, um, and the, the script that we've generated with each of these locations and uh, the coordinates, we can save to disk by clicking save um, and name this uh, motor controller PCB1 series file. Save those coordinates to disk. So if we want to return to this sample or similar samples, uh, at a later time, we can uh, load uh, those coordinates that have been stored. And uh, when we're doing an automated inspection, we have a few uh, configurations. You can set the uh, amount of time to dwell at each of the parts to do, uh, do your inspection. We have an option to save the images to disk, uh, as well as uh, options for uh, naming uh, the serial number of your board, along with a timestamp or um, or the location uh, with each of the images. And we can click Run Script, and it will automatically position to each of those locations. So here we've gone to U10, and we do not see any solder shorts between the pins, so that's good. The capacitor looks good. And now we're looking at the vias in this microcontroller. Um, so the, uh, 
the encoders on the motors uh, that control the positioning, they have an accuracy of uh, five micrometers. Um, and the repeat repeatability of the system is very good. Uh, this automated uh, positioner is available um, on new systems uh, as well as for Glenbrook's existing customers um, to as a field upgrade uh, to their existing systems. Um, here I'll go back to C30, go to location. And there we go. Thank you.